Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Day 22. They say it takes 22 days to build a habit. It's day 22. Let's do a weigh and check in to start the morning off. Yesterday we was about 70 ish, 71 kg. See if we can get below 70. Here we go, doing a weigh in. 69.35, come on. First things first today, turn on the PC. That's exactly what you do in the morning. Turn on the PC, let the dog out. How's the weather looking today, eh? Currently, go for a toilet, run into the gym, which I don't know if I want to do today or not, because I did a run yesterday. I'm going to do it anyway. I've got an arm session, so it's not too heavy. And then if I run to the gym, then I don't have to, um, I don't have to do any cardio when I'm at the gym, which is a good thing. Therefore, I get the exercise done before I do the exercise. Think smart, not hard. Anyway, the trade we had open was gold cells caught at 26.50. We also caught gold cells at 26.53 yesterday, which we closed which was in the video. Now this morning, last night, we called 2650 sales after closing the 2650 freeze for like over 100 plus pips profit. It retraced back and then, yeah, we jumped in. We sniped the entry. Let me just tell you, TP1 smash for 100 pips and TP2 closed for 180 pips. All right, we've got this lovely, lovely chart right here. Previous lows, highs, body rejected. Probably gonna continue down to sell to, you know, minimum 2624 level down here. And then obviously the main level that we call, it have been calling out is 2600 level up here. Or up here slash down here, previous lower highs, take them all out and then go back up, bullish. No actual trades to take, no need to over trades. There's nothing, there's nothing to take, if I'm honest. Like I'm bearish, but I'm not gonna jump in further sells until I see some sort of trade I want to take. There's nothing I want to take. Basically, job done. Like, you, the money I made yesterday and this morning, you don't need to trade for the rest of the fucking year. Like, that is, that's the truth. But, you know what people are like, and also what I'm like. I want to trade majority of the time. If the trade's there, I'm going to take it. Without further ado, let me get my bag, and let's start putting my ones and twos in front of each, in front of each other, and getting this run done. Success, day 22. It takes 22 days to build up a habit. Have I finally built up that habit? A habit that is gonna change my life, make me rich, make me disciplined. Probably not, probably not. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I wanna do a physique check today in the gym as well. Cause if I'm not my lowest weight, then it'll be interesting to see. 69.35 kg, still can't get over that. Still can't get over that, that is a madness. I have been cutting out stuff. Yesterday, like apart from my coffee, didn't even drink, didn't even drink milk. Normally I would, you know, snack, all that sort of shit. We're starting to get small Ws during the day. In terms of diet, exercise, if you can just gradually get the small Ws, they escalate into big wins, they really do. And that's all I'm trying to do, get big wins. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get small Ws for big gains. And it's just an everyday process. If every day you can just do a teeny bit better or maintain, then it's going to come. It's going to come. And the, my, my issue is with, with these sort of challenges, I don't know if it's other people will face this same problem, but I'll do, I'll do gym or something, dial in properly, love it. And then I'll get ill or something will kill my momentum. And then I won't go back and I'll start blowing up again, eating shit and just going like weights just constantly up and down. Like my shape's constantly up and down. That's why this challenge hopefully is gonna make me more disciplined as it needs it. I need to brush my teeth and then let's get going. Ah, let's go. So I'm slacking the run off. The reason why is because I only trained legs the other day. I ran yesterday, but I just thought maybe I'll get my steps up. I haven't been walking too much as of recently. So running's a bit different. Walking's different to running. Therefore, I thought, you know what? Fuck it, I'll walk to the gym. Now, this walk's probably about a 45 minute to an hour walk, but I'm timing it now. So 
I'm, I'm praying it's not that long but i've run it before and to run it it takes about 20 minutes so it's got to be at least double surely and i have a nice session today arms nice arm session very very nice can't wait to get in the sauna as well i mean oh, i mean we've got blue skies today we've got blue skies but just the weather's not the best it's getting to that time of year isn't it where we're getting into winter soon mince pies start coming out i was saying to Paige yesterday it's like Paige has 250 calories in these mince pies and I want two a night. How can I fit 500 calories worth of mince pies a day in my diet plan? I'm having the same thoughts so that's why after this challenge I'm probably going to blow up again during Christmas. It's going to be unreal. Oh, can't wait. Do progress pictures as well soon. So we're coming up to the month, one month of training. Be nice to get it going. And yeah, just the growth, the growth that I'm, I'm on right now, doing very, very well. Growth that I hope you guys can take with you as well with, with what I'm doing. Any, anyone can do what I'm doing. It doesn't take a genius to do it. Exercise is free, training's free, trading's free. All, all things are basically free. And then you just gotta try and make money from skill assets, that's it just make enough to quit your job and you're laughing but keep in mind the journey is the most important thing about everything it teaches you gives you experience makes you value the work ethic that you put in and you've got to train yourself to be able to do this you know to want to every single day push yourself your missus is watching a film you're working trying to figure out ways to, to blow up to get views, trying to figure out trades to take. This is a lifestyle. Everything's a lifestyle and it's what you make of it. And that's what I'm learning during this challenge. Like there's no way in hell I would have been doing this fucking three weeks ago, no chance. Not even running to the unit. I would not even have run to the unit. But I stopped feeling sorry for myself. Started taking accountability in action towards the goals that I wanted to achieve and look at us go. We're not only doing a 75 hour challenge, we are full-time vloggers now. It feels absolutely fantastic. I'm smiling, I'm happy. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. Breathing in the atmosphere. Getting out of here, MND, enjoying life. Comes out of the closet. Hello. Oh my God, look at me go. Got my ones and twos in front of each other. <sighs> Feeling leaner. Feeling much leaner. Feeling good. Not in a million years that I think I'd walk to the gym. About to go get it in. Nice little arm session. Look at that, soaking up the vitamin D. Look at that. Breathing the opportunity. Come on. I don't know why I've just decided I'm going to get a little, my ones and twos in front of each other. Just, uh, just a little, just a little, little jog. Probably speed things up, if you know what I mean. But, I don't know, walking's just boring, innit? Vroom! Nah, walking's just boring, so. Well, you know what, I'll get my ones and twos in front of each other. Drag my heels. Or I run far, I'll just get out the field bit, you know what I mean? Get out the field bit. Ooh weird you know when you're walking you just have all these thoughts come into your head so i thought i'd share some with you and it's like no one is coming to save you no one's coming to save me when you get yourself in shit spots it's because of your actions that you have done not someone else has done and if someone else has done not helped the situation but it was in the end of the day it's your decision making it's the smallest of decisions that can so many different situations but like just having one drink instead of buying a buying a prop firm challenge with your last money but then blowing the challenge within the first day getting a funded account risking all the profits the first the first week the first day blowing it making profit and not withdrawing it these are all decisions that can impact your future however making the right decision is crucial and how many of us just keep making the wrong decision after the wrong decision and then wonder why nothing goes right in our life you gotta make the right decisions financially otherwise it just comes back bites you in the ass and then the momentum stage of things is just hard to build you're always shooting yourself in your foot 
and it's no one else, it's yourself. Maybe you've got to just have a conversation and just say, look, this is what I've been doing, making the same mistakes, but it's time, time to not, time to show up for myself, time to want more for myself. Pick the right paths, easy to fucking instant gratification, but it's always the delayed gratification that works. It's always the smart decision making that works. It's always the hard work you put in that works. We're back. The walk is done. Coffee secured. What a day. What a day. I do, I, I tell you what, I'm getting used to coming here a lot. Getting used to just putting it in. Mate, that shit's like fucking cocaine, I swear. I mean. my chart i was looking for the 2630 area which is why i've been in sales this whole time as it's a small liquidity grab jumped in buys at 2629 center free trading group and obviously it's in the platinum group tp smash 60 pips securing three percent as well this morning and now that's me done with all the trades no more trading today i'm gonna wait to see how the markets play out and then make my decision up on different areas that the market reacts to. Oh. But yeah, what a fucking trade, man. Like, the sells 26.50 to 26.30, then the buys back up, securing another 3%. I've, I'm passing so many people's accounts. Like, even platinum signal sales through the roof. Like, we're on like 104 people every day we get like two to five new members. Imagine by the end of this 75 hard, we could have a thousand members. People do like a swing like that. It's actually lock up your elbows and put it up with your bicep. Like one, two, three. See how much harder that is. In the best place that you can be. A 68 degrees infrared sauna, baby. Gym session finish. I just did abs. I didn't want to record it. I just couldn't be bothered. Sells after the 3% buys at 2640. I sell 2642. Take profits of three to one. So let's see how that works. Funding pit funding funding pairs is about to go live as well. We'll update you how many orders that we get today. It's gonna be crazy. Feeling good. I didn't do cardio because I ran yesterday. I walked instead of running today. I'm gonna go on more walks too today. But tomorrow I will get a run in. One day on, one day off with the with the intense cardio. Just because, as I always say, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We need to not get injuries and just slowly but surely compound the kilometers up whilst looking after myself. For example, the walk today would have stretched out the muscles, would have been good for the, my legs as uh, they needed stretching, needed to get active again, but not too high demanding activity. <sighs> Let's get this in. Nice little sauna session. Ah, I'm sweating. I'm doing up this unit. <laughs> oh, if I ever needed it, I've got sauna, gym, shower, studio, just a place to lock in. It's so good. I need to go to this, it's disgusting. But it's because I'm stressed out, I start picking my skin. Gym finished, sauna finished. Let's go, baby. Now driving back, chicken and bacon wrap is about to go down and then get my steps in and walk the dog. Gonna hop on the chart, send some graph markups to the free trader group and also platinum about the sell signal that I've just called out at 2640s and also the buy analysis too, which we closed for pl plus three percent which is a very nice amount here we go this is a trade tp smash the cells <sighs> it's beautiful it's actually beautiful look at that tp smash and obviously if you look at the graph on the 1h previous lower highs before we pulled up to the 26.85 tapped once come back retest sells 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 caught all the cells previous lower high high and now we're gonna sell back down which is what we call back down to 2600 slash 20 
625 level down here now. So jumping in sales again, short take profit and short take uh, SL as well. So we make a nice like 10 to one trade on these sales. Fingers crossed. Voila. Chef TJ's mate, battling it in, look at that. Chicken, be nice to him Ted. Chicken and bacon, chicken and bacon wrap with mayonnaise. Look at this, so I'm gonna eat that today. And then for dinner, Paige's making a shepherd's pie or cottage pie homemade, which is, and this is it, no snacks during the day, just water intake. And then every single day you gotta do it for, and then you just fucking drop the weight. It's a hard task in hand to try and lose weight, but you gotta do it if you wanna do it. And I wanna lose weight. I want to take this challenge seriously and prove to myself, unlock another dimension, another form, another fucking character, mate. Here we go. Squat, squat, squat. In we go. Me, getting our, getting our steps in together, enjoying the vitamin D, the sun is shining. I don't actually know what the time is, probably about one. 1 p.m. I would say. Charts, sells, sells, fucking hell, sells. Let me tell you about the sales. Let's not talk about it. Um, we hit SL a couple times, probably lost about two, three percent in the group, but we did catch the buyers at 26, 29, so which which made us the three percent to risk the sales. So sometimes you hit them, sometimes you miss. That is what it is. Part of the game. We move on from that. We don't let it deflate us. We stick to the trading plan and we continue the streak of what we're doing. But chicken and bacon, wrap, demolished, feeling good, feeling healthy. It's been uh, it's been a journey so far, day 22. I've learned a lot already. I feel positive. I feel a lot healthier within myself. One of the hardest things about this challenge, the fast food, changing your whole diet plan. Eating clean is fun. You got some nice foods, you just need to home cook it. It's the evenings I think gets everyone. And obviously during the day I get it if you're at work and stuff. It's a little serotonin boost having a snack and that. Now when you think of it, a meal deal, which is supposed to be healthy, has a fucking energy drink and chocolate bar as part of the meal deal. That does not make sense to me, if you ask me. And I guarantee if they started doing beer, the majority of people would grab a fucking Heineken bottle. Do you know what I mean? Mad. Absolutely madness. But even with the running, with activity-wise, it is hard at first. You just take day by day, and that's, that is the honest truth. You're going to fuck up some days, that's facts. But you don't beat yourself up about it. And because you've had momentum throughout the week or throughout the days, the months you've been doing activity and eating clean, the one-off occasion doesn't matter. It's it's a speck in the dust. You know what I'm saying? So just keeping positive, keeping active, and just making sure I shot for myself every single day. That's what I'm starting to learn. Right, I'm cooking up an absolute storm. So peanut butter, porridge, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries and then honey to top it off. And these are frozen fruits as well, so they won't even go out of date. Obviously you've got to put it back in the microwave though, because I've learned from previous mistakes where you put the fruit in, because the fruit's ice cold, your porridge turns ice cold, and it's uh, it's very jarring, should we say. But uh, there we go, so I've got everything going in there. There's peanut butter in there. You've got the raspberries, the strawberries, the blueberries going well i've probably overcooked the porridge it's not too warm right now and let me show you the final product this is an energy booster right now for myself i'm gonna head to the studio the hq I'm gonna get some podcast clips in for my reels and shorts as i did it yesterday however it messed up i took out the sd card and didn't click saved on the mixer therefore all the content's gone probably not the best thing for you but it's better than having fucking chocolate bar probably not all that honey however we've got all the fruits in you got the porridge and it's just like i said it's like an energy ball this is what i have instead of like snacks now it's like quenches my sugar cravings 
and I guess it's just substituting the worst things for stuff like this and you'll see gradual change you know you've got fruits in here it's oats so it's going to give me energy the honey's going to give me sugar rush burst of energy to crack on with the rest of my day let's go baby Leah let up there with the watching me eat <laughs> currently holding gold cells at six uh, 2650 as well to 2600 or 2680 because we went to 2629 and flipped to 2654 we're sort of at a point now in the market where we're either going to continue on a bullet uh, continue on a bullish run or we're going to pull back for liquidity grab but we always keep in mind the lq at 2600 and 2590 because it will come into play but potentially 2625 comes in today from 2654 big pip big trade 